Hello, my name is Gal Yitzchak and I'm a PhD candidate in the Technion, Israel Institute of Technology, supervised by Professor Israel Cohen and Professor Jacob Benisti. Today, I would like to present our work on quadratic beamforming for magnitude estimation. Let's start by introducing the problem. Our goal is to estimate the magnitude of a desired signal in the STFT domain out of noisy sensor array samples. This problem arises in many applications, for example, in speech enhancement, in which it's well known that the magnitude of speech signals is much more prominent than their phase. Now, traditionally, an estimate of the complex desired signal representation in the STFT domain is generated by applying a linear beamformer H to the raw no noisy observation Y, which yields an estimate of both the magnitude and phase of, of the desired signal. Now, a fundamental question arises. Can we improve the accuracy of the desired signal magnitude estimate considering we assume the phase is indeed less paramount? So our solution lies within the quadratic beamforming approach, which has recently been proposed here in one. And taking advantage of this approach, we are able to focus on estimating the magnitude of the desired signal in the STFT domain. So at first, we uh, take the raw observation vectors and by applying the Kronecker product between the complex conjugate of the raw observation vector to itself, we generate the modified observation vector Y tilde. Then we are able to uh, generate an estimate of the desired signal magnitude by applying this uh, quadratic beamformer H tilde to the modified observation vector Y tilde. Now, in contrast to previous work, here we present an iterative algorithm to estimate the desired signal magnitude that is based on a proposed quadratic version of the celebrated Wiener beamformer. As with the original Wiener beamformer, it's derived with respect to optimality in terms of the RMSC measure. To motivate, let's begin with a demo on actual speech signals. We employ a sensor array of m equals 2 microphones and apply the linear and quadratic version of the Wiener beamformer to a noisy speech signal magnitude in the STFT domain. Now, the noise consists of two equally powerful directional interferences, which are impinging on the array from the azimuth angles of theta equals uh, 0 degrees and theta equals 180 degrees, respectively, whereas the desired speech, speech signal is impinging on the array from the broadside. Now, we apply both Wiener beamformers to the same noisy speech signal magnitude to generate estimates of the clean speech magnitude. And we carry, this we carry out this procedure for every time frequency bin, and then we employ the inverse STFT to receive the enhanced signals in the time domain. And we finally know that with both approaches, uh, the face is directly taken from the clean speech. So now let's listen to the enhanced signals with both versions of the Wiener beamformer. Let's begin with the linear Wiener beamformer. Which sounds very noisy. And let's hear uh, the enhanced signal with the quadratic Wiener beamformer. Draw every outer line first, then fill in the interior. And we can clearly hear that the differences between the enhanced signals with the two versions of the Wiener beamformer are dramatic. Okay, so let's compare the PASC and STOI scores of the enhanced speech signals with both beamformer. So it's uh, very clear that while the linear Wiener beamformer exhibits some kind of an improvement to the noisy speech, with the quadratic Wiener, both the quality and the intelligibility are substantially preferable. Okay, so now let us formulate and focus on a sensor array of M equals two uh, sensors. And as before, let's uh, keep assuming that the desired signal is impinging on the array from the broadside. Then uh, under these assumptions, the, this, the signal model is given by this formula, with A being the desired signal magnitude, which is assumed to be deterministic and unknown, and phi A is the desired signal phase, which is further assumed to be strictly zero. Uh, okay, so now let's focus on two distinct uh, cases. The first one is the, the uncorrelated noise case, which applies for modeling the self-noise and the imperfections of the sensors in the array. And the second one is the correlated noise case, 
which applies for modeling direction inter interferences, which uh, may be impinging on the array. Okay, so now let's take a brief look at the iterative estimation algorithm. It's described in much more details within the paper. So we start with an initial guess for A and with some initial state for the quadratic winner age uh, W tilde. And we're also given a set of input in observation vectors Y. So we start by modifying the observation vectors to, to obtain the set Y tilde. And then we use a subset of Y tilde to estimate the correlation matrix phi Y tilde. Then we repeat several times the following process. We use the correlation matrix and the latest estimate of A to derive the quadratic winner. And then we use the quadratic winner and the uh, set of uh, modified observations to update our estimate of A. And then clearly the output of this algorithm is the estimate of A. And it should be noted that convergence of, convergence of this algorithm is guaranteed due to the convex nature of the problem. So let's take a look at some simulation results in the uncorrelated noise case. We generate 10,000 independent realizations with two types of noise di distributions, normal and zero mean exponential. First of all, we observe that for I input SNRs right here, the RMSE converges to zero with both estimators and noise di distributions. For low input SNRs and normally distributed noise, both estimators perform the same, as we can see right here that the blue and red curves coincide. Now, uh, this results from the fact that with normally distributed noise, the latent information in I order moments is limited. For example, the third order moment is strictly zero. On the contrary, with the uh, exponentially distributed noise, the RMSC with the quadratic Wiener beamformer, as we can see right here in the black curve, uh, is lower than the RMSC with the linear Wiener beamformer, which is here in the green curve and the performance gap uh, reduces as the input SNR increases. Okay, so we now turn to the correlated noise case. We maintain the same simulation settings of the uncorrelated noise case, but replace the uncorrelated noise by two directional interferences impinging on the array from theta one equals zero and theta two equals 180 degrees. And we examine the RMSE with the two uh, Wiener beamformers, as well as the respective beam patterns or power beam patterns with the, in the case of the quadratic Wiener. Uh, so first of all, let's take a look here at the RMSC plot. And we observe that for low input SNRs, the RMSC with the quadratic Wiener, which is right here in the red curve, is significantly lower than the RMSC with the linear Wiener beamformer, which is uh, shown right here in the blue curve. And as with the uncorrelated noise case, as the input SNR uh, increases, the RMC, RMC with both uh, beamformers converges to zero. Uh, and addressing the beam patterns here at the right, we note that uh, while here the linear uh, Wiener exhibits a constant all pass special uh, beam pattern, the quadratic Wiener achieves an over minus 40 dB attenuations in both interfere directions. Uh, this is done while keeping the desired uh, signal direction here at theta equals 90 degrees uh, completely distortionless. And clearly such a performance cannot be obtained by using any linear beamformers uh, of land M equals to sensors. Okay, so let's sum everything up. In this work, we have introduced an optimal quadratic Wiener beamformer, which is used for uh, desired signal magnitude estimation. Now, unlike traditional linear approaches, the quadratic version of the Wiener beamformer utilizes information from higher order moments. We developed an iterative estimation algorithm and derived the appropriate uh, quadratic version of the Wiener beamformer for uh, the two uncorrelated and correlated noise cases. With the uncorrelated noise, uh, we showed that the quadratic beamformer yielded a low RMSC. Uh, with respect to the linear beamformer, depending on the noise uh, distribution. With the correlated noise, uh, we showed that the quadratic beamformer yielded a much lower RMC due to its ability to eliminate two special directions uh, simultaneously, as opposed to a single direction with any linear beamformer. And finally, we demonstrated the superiority of the quadratic Wiener approach uh, through simulation on actual noisy speech. And thank you all for listening.